Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91, and I'm talking about loot boxes. Yes, the dreaded word, loot boxes, and microtransactions accents in general, the forbidden words of gamers. But this time, it's getting a little different because a U.S. senator actually now has come up with a proposed bill. He introduced a bill, and let me just say before I go on, when a bill is introduced, it doesn't really have to mean much because the bill could be rejected. There are so much processes, I believe, that a bill has to go through before it actually becomes law. So don't think that this is like being passed now. But the bill that Senator Joss Haley wants to introduce is basically that any games, he said, played by minors, and that's kind of uh, that vague. That's telling me this bill probably would never get enacted in this way anyway because games played by minors are extremely vague because plenty minors play M-rated games. Let's, face, let's just face it. But basically, the senator wants to include games both designed for kids under 18 and games whose developers knowingly allow minor players to engage in microtransactions. Now, here's the thing. I know that a lot of you would agree with this bill because a lot of people just don't like microtransactions. You guys who watch my videos know I don't really care. I don't buy them. I buy a game because I want to have fun. I don't buy them so that I can make my character look like uh, whatever. I'm not going to spend real world money just to, for a lot of cosmetics, which is a lot of people spend on, I believe. I don't really care about microtransactions. But there was an update on this because the Entertainment Software Association, the video game industry lobbyist group, they sent over a statement basically saying that numerous countries, including Ireland, Germany, Sweden, Denmark, Australia, New Zealand, and the United Kingdom, determined that loot boxes do not constitute gambling. Now, before I go on, I just want to say I kind of agree with that statement. At least not illegal gambling because... What I'm saying is that if we counted loot boxes as illegal gambling, right, we would have to count basically every single game at the arcade as illegal gambling. Why? Because kids put money into them, maybe hoping to win a prize or something like that. We'd have to count everything, basically. Everything where a kid puts money into it and there's a chance that the kid won't win something or something like that, we'd have to basically count that all as illegal gambling. So I don't count loot boxes as illegal gambling either. They technically are gambling, but not illegal unless you want to count everything, in my opinion. In any case, they also went on to say that parents already have the ability to limit or prohibit in-game purchases with easy to use parental control. This is a statement I'm going to heavily agree on. I'm sorry, you guys. I know you guys just want to say, yeah, ban loot boxes, get rid of them, get rid of them. But when did parents stop becoming parents, okay? Because if your child is spending thousands or hundreds even of dollars with your credit card on microtransactions and loot boxes, what are you doing? Because to me, the child has to go through so many steps to get that. They have to get your credit card. They have to sign on to an account that allows them to make online purchases because parental, with at least with Xbox, I'm not sure about with PS4, but with Xbox One, you can set your child's account so that the child cannot make any online purchases. So the child would have to somehow sign on to your account. So a lot of this to me, I understand that microtransactions and loot boxes, they can probably be considered predatory because of how they're advertised and whatnot and how they cost so little. So a child may not even realize how they're spending hundreds of dollars because each one is a dollar or a $2 purchase. But parents, please, you guys need to get in on that system Go to parent controls and stop your children from purchasing these. The parental controls, at least with the Xbox, they allow you to basically just say your child can download anything that's free. That's it. Anything that they would have to pay for, they basically have to come to you. I think you'd have to sign on to your account and then you'd have to buy it for them. And that's how it should be. Parents, if your child has a problem with microtransactions, it is not, and I'm gonna say this, the developer's fault. At least not fully. Because how is your child buying all these parts, all these things? How is your child doing that? I understand everybody wants to blame the loot boxes and the greedy developers. We know, we're not saying they're not greedy, they're greedy. But how? How are parents allowing their children to purchase all this stuff? I understand some parents aren't tech savvy and their kids probably when they bought the Xbox, they signed up for it and maybe they set the parental controls and whatnot. But you guys as parents got to get in on your children's stuff, whatever that be, game systems, computers, whatever. You got to make sure that you have the right block set up because kids are going to buy. Kids are going to just buy what looks good. That's what kids do. They need parents to guide them to be like, no, you got to save your money. You got to do this. So parents, please.
take advantage of those parental controls. And with this whole bill, I don't really care. Whatever. I mean, I don't care about loot boxes and microtransactions myself. Anyway, what do you guys think about this bill? And what do you guys think about my parent thing? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.